Wireless technology is something that we use every day. However, do you know the health risks associated with this technology? Let us explore the health problems that can occur due to the use of Wi-Fi, and how we can prevent them. Did you know? Compared to adults, children are more susceptible to radiation. Since children grow faster, more cells are dividing, which gives radiation a greater opportunity to disrupt the process. Wireless technology has become a part of our daily life. Mobile phones are the most common example of wireless technology that we use on a daily basis. However, in this Buzzle article, we will focus more on the health problems related to Wi-Fi. Many people are aware of the possible side effects of using a microwave oven or mobile phone. However, did you know that there can be harmful side effects of having a Wi-Fi router in your house? Wi-Fi devices come with the potential hazard of radio frequency exposure. Today, many homes, cafes, schools, offices, etc., offer a Wi-Fi connection. There have been cases when people have been complaining about health problems due to Wi-Fi technology, which seems to exist almost everywhere. There is a condition called electromagnetic hypersensitivity EHS, which is caused due to exposure to wireless internet or other devices that emit RF radiation. However, the real question here is, is the RF radiation from Wi-Fi really harmful? There have been many studies carried out to check the effects of radiation from Wi-Fi. However, there is no conclusive evidence supporting that radiation from Wi-Fi is harmful. According to the Health Protection Agency, HPA, the amount of radiation a person absorbs by spending one year in a Wi-Fi hotspot, is the same as being exposed to a 20 minute call on a cell phone. From this fact, you can see that the amount of radiation a person absorbs from being around a Wi-Fi hotspot is not quite high. WHO has concluded that, current evidence regarding the exposure to low-level electromagnetic fields doesn't confirm any health hazards. This might make you think that there is nothing much you should worry about. However, many people have reported about EHS. Wi-Fi technology has been linked to EHS. There have been cases where school children in Canada, and staff workers in the France National Library have complained about suffering from the effects of Wi-Fi exposure. A female physician was self-diagnosed with electromagnetic hypersensitivity, when exposed to an average 60 Hz electric field. The results show that the subject developed symptoms like headache, muscle twitching, and temporal pain. WHO has acknowledged that there can be some health effects due to EMF exposure. Electromagnetic hypersensitivity is a condition in which an individual can experience symptoms like headaches, dizziness, insomnia, or unusual heart palpitations, due to exposure to wireless technology or electrical devices. This condition can develop after years of exposure to radiation, from sources like Wi-Fi, mobile phones cordless phones, power line magnetic fields, smart meters, cell towers, and electric fields from various other electronic devices. Even though EHS is not a well-recognized condition, it is a growing problem for sure. There are certain steps you can take to reduce exposure to harmful radiation from electronic devices. What can you do to prevent radiation exposure? There are certain measures you can take to reduce the amount of radiation exposure from Wi-Fi and other electronic devices. Instead of using a mobile phone directly while talking, use a headset. Avoid using mobile phones for long periods of time. Instead of talking on a cell phone, use texting for communication. However, don't text while you are driving. Avoid keeping your Wi-Fi routers, mobile phones, or other electronic devices switched on 24 7 When using a Wi-Fi router, make sure you maintain at least one meter distance from the device. Instead of placing your laptop directly on your lap, place it on a surface like a table. Some studies show that wireless devices can interfere with implanted cardiac pacemakers, if the distance between both is 8 inches or less. Hence, Individuals with a pacemaker should avoid using a wireless gadget close to them. 
The best solution to avoid Wi-Fi exposure is to replace your Wi-Fi router with a wired one. This was all about Wi-Fi and its association with health problems. Even though there isn't much evidence supporting any harmful health effects of Wi-Fi, more long-term studies are needed for conclusive proof. But in the meantime, one can always take preventive measures to reduce radiation exposure.